And then one day you wake up and you find the trouble is you thought you had time. All right, guys, we're hanging uh, with Dean Brody today. Dean just announced his tour that he's going to cut right across Canada with uh, a few great folks on the heels of a new album release. Congratulations on everything, first and foremost. Um, how does it feel? It feels good, man. Like, at first, when you're launching an album or whatever, I'm, I'm definitely a little bit nervous because I write a lot by myself, and so you're kind of freaked out. It's like, it's kind of all or nothing. Like, there's, there's, no, there's no fallback for me. It's like, if I write a crappy album, it's, it's all on me. It's not on anybody else. And so, a lot of pressure, but I always... I feel good after, you know, after it's released and you start getting that feedback from the fans. That means a lot. So your sixth studio album, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. um, ten tracks on it. Did you write them all? I wrote, I think, seven. Seven, of the... seven or eight. Yeah. Yeah. And how does it feel when you get those eight ones that you knew you wanted to put on there? And, and also, well, I'll let you answer that one first. Yeah, it feels good, man. Like, I love writing. I only... Like up until recently, I only write for the record. Like I don't write, I don't have like a bunch of extra songs. I probably should <laughs> instead of procrastinating like I always do. But yeah, it's, it's a great, I don't know. For me to be under pressure and to write an album, I think it's good for me. Yeah. Eric Church did something similar. Um, the last record where he kind of gave himself a really short period of time to, to get something out. Is that kind of what you did for, for you? Like you gave yourself that... You know, I got eight yeah. months, and this is what I want to do. Yeah, I didn't force myself into that position like Eric probably did, like, <laughs> an, like a true artist. Yeah. I just, I just realized that I was in that situation, and I had to write, like, eight songs and whatever it is, six months. Yeah. Um, when you go through the album, it, it kind of has, you know, the, the traditional country that a lot of people kind of know you for. Yeah. And then, you know, you take a song like Beautiful Freak Show, that is completely different from memory lane. Right. And, you know, um, is, is broadening that audience for you something that you're, you're really making sure you're, you're cognizant of, I guess I'm you could say? cognitive of it or whatever we, the <laughs> word, whatever the proper word. Whatever the word I was trying to say, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think yours was better. Cogniz yeah. <laughs> cognizant? Cognizant, yeah. Okay, that's the one, probably. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, like, I, I don't think that way. Yeah. Um, it naturally, I think, happened with Bring Down the House. Like, I, I really, when I write, I just sit down and have fun. And then, so, it, I, I could almost see, like, a critic going, oh, he's chasing something, and, like, I really am not. Like, I just love, I love all genres. Yeah. I've, since I was a kid, listened to everything. I definitely relate to the country lyric, but I do love, like, electric guitars and, and weird instruments, like the hammer dulcimer or something like that. Or, sure. Or even, like, on Freak Show, it's got harmonica. It's got just some really ethereal kind of sounds going on. So, yeah, I just, uh, I just love experimenting and writing. So when you wrote, um, let's say, uh, which I'm just trying to think the one with uh, Alan Doyle, mm. was that something you had Alan in mind when you were writing it? Did you mm -hmm. write it together? Because you had worked with Alan previously. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely thought Alan would fit the police officer because the song is about Soggy Bottom Summer. So, it's a song it. about people floating down the river drinking beers. And then Sergeant Doyle shows up and busts them. Misdemeanor. Misdemeanor. <laughs> he threatens to give him a misdemeanor, but then they, uh, they end up having him come out and he floats down the river with them. So it's a good song. But yeah, like Alan totally plays the, the, the bad cop good cop thing really good yeah yeah i was surprised yeah. and it was a great it's such a great it's a real summer song mm -hmm. you definitely hear that song being franked on the radio yeah. all summer long so yeah. um so you're you're embarking on a cross canada tour you've uh, brought james barker band along for the ride you've got mm -hmm. some ontario dates with high valley out west with malin merlot um how excited are you to get back on the road again man we love being on the road like i know the guys love it it's kind of like a like, they're my family, like, extended family for sure. And after, I think it's seven years, most of us have been together seven years, so it's, like, it's, it's a good time. I, I like to, it's kind of like a college dorm on wheels, right? <laughs> Plus, every night we get to play music and just have fun and, and have that interaction with my fans and come up with a show that they're excited about. And so the whole, the whole package is something we always look forward to. Now, the last tour, you, you brought a friend out on stage with you every night with a chainsaw. 
Yeah. Are, you, are you coming up with something new for this tour? Yeah, well, well someone had mentioned maybe if I bring two chainsaws out this time instead of just one. <laughs> so that's, that's an idea. I'd like to see how that works yeah. out. <laughs> I'm still surprised that the fire marshal let us bring like a chainsaw on stage <laughs> every night. Yeah. Smoking up the place. That's awesome. Pretty awesome. It was great. Well, Dean, thanks so much for doing this. Really yeah. appreciate it. Good luck on the album. Thanks, man. And uh, we'll see you on tour in April. Okay, All sounds right. good. Thanks. Dean Brody, beautiful freak show now available on iTunes, Google Play, or anywhere else you can buy great music. Trouble thanks. You thought you had time.